Namaste, this is Mayflower Tadpole, and I am a Reiki master, a meditation teacher, a pranic healer, a second generation astrologer, and I'm also a vegan chef, and I'm based out of LA and Bali. And today I wanted to introduce to you this amazing device that I've come across. It scans your chakras, which is basically the, uh, something that I've intuitively learned since I was nine years old by my parents. And this device does it for you, which makes my life really easy. And so today I wanted to share with you a little bit about what it says about my chakras. And we're just gonna do a little game to see if it is accurate or not. The total percentage is at 77%. The lowest one's being my crown, which I don't understand. I mean, I'm a Reiki master, so I should be always connected to source. But anyway, the machine says it's at 64, which is interesting. That's like a D or close. That's a failure, actually, I guess. Okay. <coughs> my heart, which is about my center of love, apparently is at 77%, which is really weird because I feel super loving all the time. Okay, it's gonna tell me why. This is the really exciting part that my friend showed me. So, it's gonna tell me the reason, emotionally, mentally, physically, etherically, soul-wise. Wow, okay, so we all know that the yellow is the Manipura or the third chakra, that's what it should be vibrating at. Mine is currently at yellow green, it says, which is interesting, which is close enough. Almost yellow, not quite yellow. And it says the reason it's yellow green is because the person, which it means me, doesn't feel free in a relationship. They are aware of this. However, they are letting go of this pattern more and more. Oh my God, that's so true. You know, I recently just got into a fight with my boyfriend over if vegan cheese is healthy for you. And this totally describes exactly how I'm feeling right now. And you know, sometimes I feel, oh God, I have so much hair, <laughs> like eating my hair. Okay, so, okay, next. It also says it's picking up red orange in my solar plexus. And it says that the person feels injured and blackmailed emotionally, thereby realizing clearly the control of the external reality is on them and that aggression is being clearly felt. However, there is no vehicle to express themselves with. What, okay, all right. So according to this very strange German translation into English, it's saying that I'm aggressive. <laughs> That's so not me. Like I'm, I'm vegan, I'm not aggressive, okay? Um, so I don't know what is going on with this machine, but clearly something is wrong. Okay, let's go to my heart. My heart chakra says it's at yellow and that the person is unable to feel joy. <laughs> That's so weird. I'm, I'm always joyful, I mean, I just wake up every morning and I I love to do it, uh, a gratitude practice when I wake up and thank the plants and the animals and all the fairies and everything around me um, for life. So the fact that this is saying that I'm unable to feel joy is just, it really hurts, you know? Guys, I'm just, this Healy is so intense. I mean, I guess there is some part of me that isn't able to feel joy because apparently it's picking up multiple colors, like a rainbow up in my third chakra, and that there's a lack of feeling worthy. When I'm doing my sessions, I feel like my clients are judging me. Like, especially I was, I was, um, I love this unicorn deck. You see, it's the unicorn deck. And what I really love about this deck is that, you know, you don't have to believe in unicorns to really get the benefits of unicorns. And I think that, especially when I'm working with my corporate clients, they sometimes look at me like I'm an alien, like I'm really weird at something. And, oh wow, oh, this is, this is, uh, this is really heavy. This is, um, it says that my crown chakra, um, is not violet, which we know it should be, but that it's blue. And the reason it's blue is because the father's love was not present. They have experienced a lack of love from the father or the father is not present. I think I've forgiven him. And that's pretty 
accurate that my father wasn't present, but I feel like I've received masculine healing in other ways, you know? So... Oh, okay, this is really interesting. This is kind of positive. The, the pieces of blue it picks up is also about me looking for my home and soul and God, and that's so totally true. Like, I'm always looking for the sense of going home to where I know that my soul's from, which is from Atlantis. Um, I've, I've always, just always gravitated towards the water. This is, this is pretty amazing stuff that things that I intuitively know because I'm trained as a healer um, that this device picks up on. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get them for my corporate clients because apparently um, I don't believe I'm self-worthy enough or whatever. And so I'm gonna get this for them to prove them wrong because I am worthy and I know what I'm talking about and I love the fact that science is catching up and really helping all of us healers out there to, just to be awake, you know what I mean? Like being woke um, and this whole movement of mindfulness and consciousness, it's super important to have scientific data to back you up. And so anyway, if you wanna find out more about the Healy, let me know, send me a private message, and I am so excited to tell you all about it. Once again, my name is Mayflower Tadpole, and I wish you a rainbow-filled day full of magic, and I'm so grateful for you for watching this. Thank you so, so much. Namaste.